Hi YouTube, so today we've got a Honda CRV engine management light on. It's got a glow plug circuit malfunction. Uh, apparently the glow plugs, or one or two of the glow plugs have been replaced that were faulty. So we're going to run through a diagnosis of this and try and figure out why the glow plug circuit malfunction is present. So what we'll do is we'll run some basic tests. We'll do a test with the oscilloscope and check what each uh, glow plug is drawn current-wise. I believe they've replaced two glow plugs, so we'll need to take the right approach with this and hopefully get to the bottom of why this glow plug circuit malfunction is remaining. So the first test that we're going to do it's just a, a draw test, so we've got our, our probe there connected to the glow plug connector coming from the relay and we've got a good earth. So once I turn that ignition on, you should see uh, the glow plug light, uh, you should see the test lamp light up. Now as you can see the test lamp does light up. So what, what we've got set up here is an amp clamp and we've got it set, we're going to set it to 1 millivolt per 1 amp, 1 millivolt equals 1 amp. Um, we're going to do a current draw test on each, in fact we'll do one. Um, this is an old one that's in there and we'll be able to get into there to do an amp, amp draw on the new one as well to see what the difference is. So, so let's set the scope up. So we've only run about 20 amps, so let's set it to 20 millivolts. And we are wanting one second per division. So let's go back here, I'm going the wrong way. So I want one second per division, so that captures it nice and slow. So let's turn the ignition on and see what we're, we're dealing with here. We'll need to zero our amp clamp. You can see that's just settling there. And um, we'll put it on roll, so just enable us to capture it without losing too much. So our amp clamp is zeroed. That's nice and level. What we'll do is we'll pause that. So let's test one of the good ones and we'll see what that comes up with. So you can see a massive difference in that. So let's get the the old glow plug out. It's a 12 mil socket. And then it will just run out by hand. So we'll get this one out and put the new one in. There we go. So we've got a new one. Stick that in there. Nice and snug. We'll pop the connector back on. Remove our amp clamp. We'll go in the cab, clear the faults. So we've cleared the faults. Um, we're just going to let it run. The warning light is off right now, but the battery's getting quite flat. So we'll let it run. And once we're able to shut it off, knowing the battery's got a bit of charge left in it. So we're looking good. No warning lights are on the vehicle. Um, stopped and started it a few times. 
uh, what would the reoccurring fault that would happen um, after about four four ignition cycles and um, the warning light would come back on if you found that helpful like share and subscribe see you